Cleveland Scott. Good day, everyone. Topping our news this hour, the city of Hoover getting a lot of attention today. Mayor Tony Patelis will detail the city's biofuel program before state and local officials. Now, what's happening as House and Senate Republicans turn their focus on energy and offshore drilling this week. Fox 6 reporter Tiffany Bittner joins us live from Hoover this morning. Tiffany? Well, guys, today uh, here at the Hoover Public Library Theater, the Hoover Mayor, along with uh, Senator Jeff Sessions, are going to be meeting for a public forum to basically discuss alternative fuels in our nation's energy policy. No doubt Hoover is already leading the way when it comes to using alternative fuels. The city of currently uh, currently discard, uh, uses discarded cooking oil to run biodiesel equipment, and the city's E85 program, of course, has been up and running for a couple of years now and has been very successful. But the city is moving forward looking for yet another way to find an alternative to gas and using ethanol. Hoover has been chosen as part of a pilot program and is expected to receive the first fuel from wood waste by September, which at the, that time the city will use 100% of their vehicles on uh, using ethanol. We've got Mark uh, Warner, the CEO of Gulf Coast Energy here. He's basically the man, the brains behind the, the operation, if you will. Uh, talk a little bit about how it will work with the city of Hoover uh, basically transporting their wood waste products from Hoover to your plant in Livingston. And what happens after that? Well, we'll be getting the wood from them in chip form. And once it arrives in Livingston, we'll convert it to ethanol. And uh, for each truckload of wood, we'll make a little over 5,000 gallons of ethanol. And how long does it take to convert wood product into ethanol? It takes four minutes from wood chip to fuel-grade ethanol. Isn't that remarkable? And talk a little bit about what this will mean for our future. When you, when, you know, there, there are so many questions about the price of gas and whether or not we should continue offshore drilling, that sort of thing. When we have a product that we have here in the States that we can make just down the road, what is that going to mean for our future? We have a policy within Gulf Coast that is based on self-reliance, energy, renewability, sustainability. We make everything that we use in-house and also environmental excellence. So it means that we can make our own fuel products right here in this country, We're consuming all of our own raw materials, and it doesn't even have to ship anywhere else. And I suppose Hoover, of course, was, was the obvious choice because they have the E85 program up and running now. Uh, will this just you know continue their effort, I suppose, and help you guys with launching this, this pilot program? Absolutely. We knew about Hoover for quite a while. We knew what they were doing, and Mayor Patel's programs are very progressive, so we were hoping we could get involved with them. I think a lot of it was just making sure that people knew what we were doing and what we were capable of. Alabama as a state makes enough wood waste every year to fuel the entire state. So all we need to do is get these production processes going and we'll be energy independent. All right, Mark, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. If you would like to be here for the public forum and learn more about uh, alternative fuels and energy uh, savings, uh, come here to the Hoover Public Library at 8 o'clock this morning. Reporting live in Hoover, Tiffany Bittner, Fox 6 News.